Hi, and welcome back to Bauer Beauty. If this is your first time here, I am Jen. I'm an esthetician, and I also own a skincare company called Bauer Beauty. On this channel, I talk about skincare and makeup. Lately, it's been a little bit more makeup focused because I have been using my own products for skincare products because I'm testing so many samples and we're launching so many products. Today, we're talking about the new Hourglass Velvet Story Lip Creams. These are brand new, and this is a matte lip cream that I'm assuming is gonna be like a mousse. I am over the matte phase. I kind of got over it back in 2016. It left as quickly as it came for me. I don't really like matte lipsticks because it just emphasizes texture, especially because I like a dewy complexion. A dewy complexion with a matte lip doesn't really look good unless that matte has some moisture to it, which I'm hoping these do because they're called lip creams and it's a velvet lip cream. So I'm gonna try them all on for you today and let you know how they perform. Okay, so let's just hop right into the video. So Hourglass sent me this beautiful box last night. This beautiful PR box with a nice little bow and it had the vanished blush sticks and these velvet story lip creams. I already did a video on the blushes and now I'm going to do a video for you guys on the lip cream. So as with all Hourglass products, their packaging is gorgeous. This is what the packaging looks like. I love this detail, this acrylic detail at the end and then the gold detail up here and they're just beautiful and they're all nudes you can never have enough nudes so this is actually very accurate to what they look like in person as well so i have nothing on my lips and i actually have nothing on my face besides sunscreen my kylie skin spf so i'm going to try every single one of these on for you the first one i am trying on is called indulge indulge is a neutral rose i usually like neutral colors so oh my god mm. excuse me what is this what the F is this? I applied it a little bit sloppily. Oh my God, it's amazing. Feels like, feels like a moussey cream. Feels like a creamy mousse. Oh my God, that is seriously an amazing formula. Wow, I am totally, totally impressed. This actually looks, on the lips, it looks more like a tint or something. It just looks like your normal lips, only a little moisturized and obviously tinted with the color. In person, this is a little bit more brown. On camera, it's reading, it looks like a little bit more terracotta and it's really, really pretty. Okay, this is called Hint, the one I'm doing next. And this is a beige honey, which sounds like this actually would be probably my ideal color. Ooh, well, this is way too light for my liking, but mmm. Mmm, I love the formula. The color I'm not a fan of, it's too light for me, but the formula is absolutely incredible. You might get that ring, I'm not sure. But what I like about this formula is I put about half as much of this color on as I did the other color. The other color, I kind of put it on like it was a lip gloss. This, I just put it on kind of lightly and then to massage it out and spread it out. And really, it is so incredible. It's like a tint. I can't explain it. It's like a moisturizing tint and a creamy mousse. I mean, rubbing it in, your lips just feel really creamy and hydrated. I love this formula. It's not your average matte formula. It gives you like a little bit of a sheen. It does blur a little bit, but it makes, it looks like your natural lip. Next color we are trying is Crush. Crush is a warm berry. I do like warm lip colors for the most part. Warmer neutral. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, this one's super pretty. Super, super duper pretty. I did the same thing with this color as I did as the last. I just didn't put as much formula on my lips and then I just spread it out. It literally just looks so natural. Like a natural tint. This would be really pretty with you know, some bronzer, like a nice bronzed eye and a tan look. I'm not wearing any makeup as I think I probably mentioned or it's probably obvious. What I think that I would do as well is I'd try to find a liner that matched this or I'd take some of the cream out of here, which I guess I can try that right now. Just spread it out so I can really define the lip a little bit more. See, do you see the difference? I just defined that side. Because obviously with lipsticks and stuff like that, like it's hard to really define the lip. But that's what it looks like. It's super pretty. It's an easy formula to work with. Okay, next I am taking Touch, which is a neutral pink. Ooh. So I think my new favorite way of doing this is just putting a little bit in the center and then shearing it out. Because I don't like super opaque looking lip products. And in fact, I would probably mix these with like a dab of 
gloss as well. I just have a clear gloss that easily, so I'm just using this Revlon. So this is the Dusty Rose, super pretty. It's like a nice like terracotta almost. Like this is probably my favorite color actually. I don't know if it's the way I applied it or it's the tone, but I love this color. I think less is more with these lippies. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of gloss. Yeah, I like this. It's totally gorgeous. I absolutely love it. So every time I clean my lips off, they get obviously really red, and then I put concealer around the edges and I feel like they look even more red. Okay, we have two more colors. This one looks really pretty. This is Lux, and this is a rich mauve. I love the color mauve. Ooh, ooh, girl. Yes. This is probably my favorite, actually. I like a little bit darker, darker nudes. And you see how like effortless they are to apply. It's such a nice sheen. The formula is really unique. I haven't tried a formula like this before, I don't think. It just looks like my lips. It literally just looks like my lips. It's really gorgeous, but I wouldn't put too much on. Again, I sound like a dead, like I'm beating a dead horse, but I probably wouldn't put too much on. So that is with gloss. <gasps> Last color. This one, I wouldn't be surprised if this was my least favorite. This is called Pure and it's just a true rose, which means it's really pink. And sometimes I don't really like pink on my lips. Mmm. Well, it's pretty. Actually, it's really pretty. Still not like a color is like, that would be my go-to color, but it's still really pretty. They're all obviously in the nude family. This sheen is actually from the lip color. I like this formula a lot, a lot, a lot. Let me tell you a little bit about what this card says. So it's a weightless velvety texture, soft focus blurred matte finish. It is definitely soft focus. I can still see lines in my lips, but I, I like that. Smooths and conditions lips with vitamin E. It definitely feels hydrating. Custom tapered applicator allows for effortless precision. I didn't try to be too precise with it, as you guys could see. And it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. Velvet Story Lip Cream is a featherweight lip mousse that delivers a soft focus blurring finish with a velvety texture for a comfortable wear. It definitely is comfortable. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I'm sure it'll last for a while because I told you it's kind of like a stain, but who knows if it stays like a stain or not. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That really helps the YouTube algorithm recognize my channel, which I really appreciate and subscribe, become part of the fam, and I will see you guys in my next video.